Good evening everyone, I am Mr. Ish. Thank you for joining me for this video. Normally in math we get so focused with the routine, the mundane, the things you have to learn that we forget to stop and take a look at some of the interesting things and here we are doing just that. When you're looking at the sphere, there are some interesting volume and surface area relationships you can determine. What are those values of radius for which the volume will always be larger for the sphere? What are the values of radius for which the surface area will be larger? What is that value for the radius for which the volume and the surface area will be equal? That's what we are looking at. You know in all instances the radius cannot be equal to zero otherwise you will have no sphere. If you want to determine the value of radius where the volume and the surface area are equal, think about their equations. Volume is equal to 4 over 3 pi r cube. That's the volume. The surface area is equal to 4 pi r square. If you want to determine the value, the radius leads to an equal volume and surface area, make them equal to each other. Look, 4 pi is equal to 4 over 3 pi r cube divided by r square. I've taken the r square on the other side. I can cancel out the r's. I'll have 4 over 3 pi r is equal to 4 pi. Now solve for the r. r is equal to 4 pi times. Take this on the other side. You'll have 3 over 4 pi. And this will cancel out. You'll have 3. So what are we seeing here? For the radius of 3, the volume of a sphere will always equal to the surface area of the sphere. And that's the first relationship we have deciphered. If radius were equal to 1, we know this here is volume, this here is surface area, what would the volume be? If the radius is equal to 1, you know volume is equal to 4 over 3 pi. Surface is equal to 4 pi. Which one is larger? That's larger. You don't need to do any more values. We already know this is our cutoff point. When radius is equal to 3, the volume is equal to surface area. Here we know the surface area is larger. And here the volume is smaller. I've shown that to you. So allow me to do some modification here and make things clear. When the radius is equal to 1, the volume is less than the surface area. If radius were equal to, let's say, 3.1, you're looking at 4 over 3 pi and then 3.1 cube. Here you're looking at 4 pi, 3.1 square. Which one do you think is larger? Well, think about it in this way. You have 3.1 square, you can cancel that out with this and you'll just have 3.1 to the power of 1. That square cancels out the square from here and you're left with that. You have 3.1 divided by 3. This right here would still be looking like this and this right here, this part right here would be larger than 1. So you're really looking at 4 pi times something value, some value which is 1 point something. And this right here obviously would be larger than that. What is that telling you? Here in this specific instance, the volume is larger than surface area. And that relationship has been determined. Now we clean up these intervals here for you. And it'll be interesting. From 0 to less than 3, the volume is always smaller than surface area for a sphere. For radius is equal to 3, the volume is equal to surface area. For radius being larger than values of 3, the volume is always greater than the surface area. And we are done. Now you can see how everything comes into play. Keep in mind, these values here are not equal to 0, they're not equal to 3, they're in this interval. Because at r is equal to 3, volume and surface area are equal. At r is equal to 0, you cannot have no sphere because there's no dimension. For values larger than 3, the volume is greater than surface area. This right here is good, this here is good, and that right here is good. And it brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching.